Okay, welcome. Let me show you around another floor plan. This is a floor plan of a house uh, that's drawn on the wall in my classroom. I want to go over some more of the symbols on it so that you'll see some additional symbols. Uh, the wall, parallel lines running around the outside of the house. This would represent the wall, wall on the front of the house. Typically, the bottom of the drawing is going to be considered the front of the particular house. Going around the outside of the drawing and on the inside, there will be dimensions. These show us where certain things are going to be located. Uh, this 14-foot dimension from the outside of the wall to the center of this wall, interior wall, 14 feet. So if the carpenter measured from here up 14 feet, that's where that particular wall would go. Across the top, again, there are dimensions. So from the outside of the house, 13 foot 6, that would go to the center of this wall. So dimensions can be around the outside of the drawing and on the inside. Window symbol, marking off the length of the window and a couple lines going through the middle of it. There will be circles with numbers and perhaps letters next to doors and windows. Those would reference back to a door and window schedule that would have um, <clears throat> sizes and material and a bunch of details about those particular items. Dimensions across the front of the house as well. <clears throat> CLO, closet, so this would be a large closet in this bedroom, dimensions showing where different things go. The chimney coming up through the center of the house, brick symbol, not supposed to be colored orange, somebody got carried away. Stairs going down to the basement. This right here says DN13R, that means from this floor, the first floor in the house, there are 13 steps going down to the basement, 13 risers or 13 steps, a closet, as you go down into the basement, that closet stays on the first floor, so you can go underneath this particular closet. Door symbol with a letter next to it, that would be door letter C. Again, the door and window schedule would have details around that particular size. Exterior door, door letter B, again, different size. Windows and so on. Uh, room descriptor, living room. This particular living room is carpet. Some of the items, like this exterior door, they have dimensions that you may have to add together. So from the front of the house, 7, 6 plus 8, 15 foot 6 would be the middle of this particular door. Dining room, carpet in this particular dining room, window symbol on the outside. This would be a bar or a countertop in the kitchen. This is the kitchen. DW stands for dishwasher. Dash lines means it's underneath uh, the countertop. Dash lines here, that would be a wall cabinet. Uh, on the wall in this kitchen, stove, refrigerator, and sink symbol. LIN, flooring in this particular kitchen is linoleum. Uh, LIN stands for linoleum. A wall between the kitchen and bathroom, a sink in the bathroom, tub, toilet, a couple of closets. Again, dimensions that show you where each of the individual things happen to be. Name of the drawing up on the top, first floor plan. Up in the top right, the scale, quarter inch equals one foot. Basically, that means on the paper, every quarter inch that you measure represents one foot of the actual house. Everything drawn in architecture will be done to scale because obviously this house at 40 feet in length, you couldn't fit that on a piece of paper, so it's scaled down. So each quarter inch represents one foot. Um, that's pretty much everything you need to see on the floor plan.